Kylo Ren, Rey, and Cal Kestis all use lightsabers that have one thing in common, damaged kyber crystals. Kylo Ren's is the most famous, producing a crackling, unstable blade. But Rey and Cal's lightsabers are fine, even though both their crystals were cracked down the middle. So what's the deal? Why don't their blades share that same effect? Today I'll try to explain. Let's start with the obvious, most important, and out-of-universe answer. Kylo Ren's lightsaber reflects his unstable character. That's been spoken about in countless interviews since his lightsaber was first revealed in the teaser trailer for The Force Awakens. He is being pulled apart between the light side and the dark, and the torment of his soul is illustrated by his out-of-control blade. And then the visual dictionary for Episode 7 came along and gave us an in-universe reason for the blade being a damaged kyber crystal. This has yet to be confirmed, but the popular theory right now is that Ben Solo took his blue lightsaber crystal and attempted to bleed it like a Sith would. But since he still feels that pull to the light side, the process wound up cracking the crystal. He then added the vents to his lightsaber hilt because of the instability, and it was kind of like a happy accident that it resembled the ancient crossguard hilts from thousands of years before. I want to talk about Cal next. On Ilum, he finds a new lightsaber crystal, but it breaks apart in his hand. He despairs for a moment, but BD-1 convinces him to try and build a lightsaber anyway, and he's able to make a double-bladed lightsaber with the pieces. Again, thematically, I think this is meant to represent Cal and his journey. He goes through some massive trauma as a child that he has to learn to accept. Early on in the game, he literally calls himself trash. It's meant as a joke, but I think that's how Cal sees himself. He blames himself for the death of his master, and he doesn't think he's worthy of becoming a Jedi until he makes it to Ilum. He builds a new lightsaber, and it works. I think the lesson here is that just because something is broken doesn't mean it's useless. Cal walks out of Ilum full of confidence and resolve. As for an in-universe reason for the stable blade, I'd argue that the cut down the crystal was clean. It split in half, but its integrity wasn't lost in the same way that Kylo's was. It makes sense to me that the blades would work just fine. But then we come to Rey and the reforged Skywalker lightsaber. It also breaks in half in The Last Jedi, and it's definitely a more violent break than what happens in Fallen Order. Thematically, I think the broken crystal means something similar. The lightsaber and the resistance might be broken at the end of the film, but that doesn't mean that they're beyond repair. The Visual Dictionary for the Rise of Skywalker specifically states that the crystal was healed using techniques Rey learned from the Sacred Jedi texts, so that's kind of all we need to know. Instead of using the two halves independently, Rey brought them together and healed the wound. That's a big theme in Episode 9, using the Force to heal. The crystals could also represent Rey and Ben as a dyad in the Force, but I'm still wrapping my head around all of that and what it means, so I'm not going to dive too much deeper into it. The big difference I see between Kylo's lightsaber and Rey and Cal's is basically just intent. Rey and Cal wanted to make something stronger and new as a force for good, and they did. They knew what they wanted, and they had the resolve to get it done. Ben probably bled his lightsaber because he thought it was just what he had to do. The Rise of Kylo Ren comic isn't over, but we're seeing a kid who didn't want to go down the dark path. He just felt like that was his only option. He didn't have the resolve to bleed his crystal, and it failed. But he also didn't have the resolve or desire to heal it, so it stayed red and broken. I still think it would have been nice to see him purify and heal his red lightsaber in The Rise of Skywalker, even if it didn't turn white like it's technically supposed to, if it turned turned blue, I think it would have been an awesome way to show his return to Ben Solo. But oh well, that's what I think about broken or cracked kyber crystals, why some of them look all crackly, and why some of them don't. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.